What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about on a daily basis. Money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember that new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, thanks for hitting the like button for us down below. Okay, first thing I want to mention for you guys, because I've seen a lot of you guys asking about this in the comments section. So for those of you on Social Security and Retirement, SSI, SSDI, VA, RRB, everybody underneath the Social Security umbrella, um, remember when you got your cost of living adjustment this year, the COLA raise, it was... 5.9%, which was the largest in almost 40 years. I think it was 38 years to be exact. Now, for a lot of you, that was a really good raise. If, as long as you didn't lose any food assistance benefits or you didn't lose any other benefits, um, for most people, that was a really good thing. If you lost food assistance benefits or SNAP benefits or um, any other benefits like that, Maybe it wasn't so great. Uh, that's actually a really sad thing. Um, and I've actually sent over messages to Congress that that actually needs to be changed. They need to have an inflation adjustment for that because millions of people should not have reductions in that. This is supposed to be uh, an inflationary adjustment. But here's the thing that I want to kind of mention here. Inflation has gone up since then. Okay, this is based on 2021 inflation. Well, inflation is much higher than 5.9% now. In fact, as you can see here, inflation in February reached 7.9% instead of 5.9%, which it was last year. That's, I don't know, uh, 30% increase or something like that, if I'm just ballparking it off the top of my head. Um, consumer prices are now the highest in 40 years. Um, so we've gone from 5.9% to 7.9%, which may not sound like a lot. That's a lot uh, in terms of 2% more inflation. That's a significant, significant amount. And that was in February. That was before gas prices spiked to their highest prices ever in the history of the United States. That's what we're going through now. And oil just actually in the last uh, 24 hours or so just went through another recent spike here again. So uh, yeah, you can see surging energy costs related to Russian invasion of Ukraine are pushing prices higher. So um, this recent energy spike, gas spike, uh, gas spike, and spike on everything, the spike in the price of groceries, the spike in the price of anything you buy at the store, you go to buy anything physical, you know, shoes, stuff for your household goods, anything, it costs more. It costs more. In fact, it's, it's a rarity if you go to buy something and it's the same price as it was last year. So here's the thing is that um, for 2020, for next year, it's going to be probably an even higher cost of living adjustment raise. In fact, if we go 7.9% um, was the inflation from last month, most people from what we just kind of see with inflation here, it's going to be even higher this month, probably in the eight point something percent range. We won't know until after this month is over and they calculate everything. But um, we could actually see a uh, COLA raise, cost of living adjustment raise of seven, eight percent or more, somewhere in that range based on what current inflation is. Yeah, so if we're just going by what current inflation is, last month was 7.9%. We'll round that to 8% for a nice round number to do math on. If your current Social Security benefits are 
a thousand dollars again we'll go with a nice round number and uh, this upcoming year's cost of living adjustment is eight percent that would mean that you would get a eighty dollar per month raise eighty dollars times 12 months is nine hundred and sixty dollars it's almost a thousand dollars a year raise yeah that's pretty significant and that's if you get a thousand dollars a month remember Social Security right now says that the average Social Security benefit is sixteen hundred and fifty seven dollars per month in January 2022 so if we go by what the average amount is of sixteen fifty seven and um, 1657 times 1.08 that could mean 1789 per month per month so that's almost $1800 per month 1789 minus 1657 that would be an increase of $132 per month per month uh, that would be the largest raise ever. Well, I don't actually, I don't know about ever because I'd have to go back more than 40 years. I'd have to go back through the charts and see if there was something 50 or 60 years ago or something like that. Uh, but it would be a significant, a significant increase. Remember, last year was only 5.9%, and current inflation rates are 7.9%. So we are potentially looking at the largest cost of living adjustment raise for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, RRB in, like I said, over 40 years based on the current uh, inflation rate. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, just for fun, if uh, the maximum possible Social Security benefit for someone who retires at the full retirement age is currently 3000 $345. If they get an 8% raise next year, 3345 times 1.08, they would go to 3612 next year. That would be a nice amount. Minus 3345. They're going to get a raise of $267 for anybody who is getting the full Social Security benefits at full retirement age as well. So they could be getting a raise of $267 per month. For anybody that wants to potentially calculate this, we won't know this until later in the year, um, but all you got to do is take the amount that you make with your benefits right now, whether it's SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, VA benefits, so just, for example, take $1,000 per month and multiply times 1.08 and then hit equal and you'll figure out what your new benefit would be, okay? So there, in this case, if you made 1000 before, now you would be at 1080 8% more, $80 per month more. And you could figure that out times 12, which would be your yearly benefits. Okay, uh, for example, the average uh, 1657 times 1.08 would be 1789 times 12 would be about 21,500 a year. So, uh, yeah, you could see how uh, that's that's maybe doable for a lot of people. Now, if you've been watching my channel, there is uh, potential new money coming for a lot of Americans right now, nationally and on the state level, because of inflation, because of the high price of gas, the high price of groceries, the high price of everything, the high price of everything. Um, fourth stimulus check updates, new payments could come because of high, higher prices. We have uh, multiple different proposals here from lawmakers in Congress on the federal level from the House and Senate, as well as on the state level as well. And um, we have proposals um, like $300 per month stimulus checks, which would be um, potentially $3,600 per year per person 
So that's uh, if if that one goes through, it would be really really good because if you're thirty six hundred dollars per year, that would actually be the same amount as the child tax credits, but for adults. So that would be a lot of money, thirty six hundred dollars per year. If you are two people in a household, that would be seven thousand two hundred dollars per year. Um, and if we get the child tax credits voted on, which uh, they're trying to do here as well, those would go out for 60 plus million children here as well. Um, Democratic, I'm sorry, Republican Senator Mitt Romney actually has a proposal that they're trying to get um, bipartisan support right now. You can see here Republican Senator Mitt Romney unveils a plan to provide at least $3,000 per child for over 60 million children, 60 million families, um, giving bipartisan support to President Biden's effort. Um, $3,000 per child per year for children ages 6 through 17. You can see here the 2012 GOP, a.k.a. Republican presidential nominee, is proposing the United States give $4,200 for children up to age 6. So children 5 and under would get $4,200 per year in monthly payments. So that's $350 per month for children under uh, five and under, and $250 per month or $3,000 per child for children ages 6 to 17. So those monthly payments of $250, $300, or $350 per month, they really add up to the tune of $3,000, $3,600, $4,200 per year. So don't discount monthly payments because they add up to a lot of money over the course of a year. In fact, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is actually working with the GOP, which stands for the Grand Old Party, an old nickname for the Republican Party, to try to get a deal on new virus aid to the tune of more billions and billions of dollars uh, because, well, we're still in a pandemic. And they're actually saying a new wave of the new Omicron variant BA.2, which is actually more infectious and can spread easily, uh, could be coming this way. I know that it seems like it's never going to end, uh, but it's, it's a virus. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, but they're actually working on this right now. In fact, Mitt Romney said the Democrats were going to send him a new funding proposal last night. And Mitt Romney actually seems to be kind of one of the glue, a part of the glue, uh, actually bipartisanship working together right now from the Senate. Um, Republican leader Mitch McConnell actually has been working pretty well with the Democrats here lately as well. Also with the war on Ukraine, um, Mitch McConnell has been working pretty well with the Democrats as well. Democrats and Republicans have actually been working pretty well together here recently. I would say um, I'd have to give them a pretty a pretty decent standing here lately. I, I almost could say that there's a little bit of unity, even a, a decent amount of unity in uh, in Congress right now. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that uh, I, don't, I don't think Republicans, Republicans are going to start voting for everything the Democrats want. It's still, a, it's still a divided Congress. And you see this a lot when one party controls everything. Remember, Democrats do control the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And when we go back to when Republicans controlled everything, not that long ago, 2017 to 2018, uh, when Republicans controlled the House, the Senate, and the presidency underneath uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, the, the Democrats did the same kind of thing. So it's, you know, as my father would say, that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Um, you see this a lot when the minority party, um, they're, they're a little bit standoffish because they just feel like they're the, the other party just kind of controls everything. And uh, they use the reconciliation process. And it's just uh, it's a it's a tough it's a tough pill to swallow. And you just don't see the minority party 
it, it just uh, just contributing and, and voting for a lot of things unless it's really something that's really needed. And we are seeing that right now with the war in Ukraine, uh, Republicans and Democrats overwhelmingly um, both supporting this. If you watch my show here, we, we had uh, Mitch McConnell on the show, and he even he said, uh, the, the announcer asked him, what about uh, people like Marjorie Taylor Greene who say that we shouldn't be helping at all? And, and even Mitch McConnell said something like, there's a few lonely voices even from the Republican Party that are that are you know minorities and off on their own, you just got to ignore those people. Um, so even the vast majority of Republicans and Democrats agree that uh, we can't let Putin do this type of stuff. It it just kind of harkens <laughs> harkens back to World War II. Hitler and Putin just kind of kind of ring the same type of bells that kind of make you think, like, how do you stop this kind of guy, right? Uh, and I think most people realize that. And, uh, you know, it, it's affecting us here at home with the price of gas, the price of inflation. It's affecting everybody here worldwide. Um, but just imagine if Ukraine falls and they've already kind of uh, unveiled plans by accident that they then want to take over the next country of Moldova and imagine what happened if Ukraine fell, which is a massive, Ukraine's a massive country. They were 45 million people. Now millions of people have had to flee, mostly women and children. Think about what's happening to their country. Imagine if Ukraine fell, and then Moldova, and then the next country. It, it just seems like eerily similar to what happened back in the 1940s, you know? And uh, it's not the kind of thing that the world can just kind of let happen yet again. I mean, you can let me know your thoughts, but uh, honestly, if, if we just if things were a little different and, and Trump was president, the same the same thing would kind of happen. You just can't let Putin steamroll the world like this. Um, you can let me know your thoughts here if you if you agree, disagree, think differently, but. Uh, the, the guy's kind of a madman that just needs to be stopped. And uh, the question is, how do you navigate this? How do you get him to stop? Will he ever stop? Are we going to need to force him to stop? How long is this going to go on? And yet he, here we are affected here in the U.S. as well. And we, we got people suffering here as well. And, uh, you know, our government needs to kind of navigate our people here as well and, and provide for them as best as possible here as well. So let me know your thoughts here. I'll be a voice here for you guys every single day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I read through them every day. I'll be here with you guys every day uh, at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. It's completely free to do so. Uh, this way you won't miss out on new videos. After subscribing, click the bell icon that appears next to the subscribe button after you subscribe and uh, don't miss out on any new videos. You can click here to watch my newest video next and you can click here to see more details about several new bills uh, that could put money in your pockets regarding these new stimulus checks that were just proposed by Congress. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.